All right, Davis James here, media guy up at Anglers All. Uh, I'm at home in my home studio. This is where I tie flies. This is where I edit videos. I thought I'd get at you a real easy tie, the Pine Squirrel Leech. It's a fly you can tie in many different colors. You can tie it quite a few different ways. I'm gonna do it the most simple way I know how today. Uh, it's a very quick fly. It's something you can replicate before a trip very easily and it produces all over. So stay tuned, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you'd like to see next. All right, the pine squirrel leech. So the pine squirrel leech is a really effective pattern. You can fish it deep, you can fish it shallow, you can swing it, you can nymph it. Uh, you can use it all over the place. You can add weight, you can fish it weightless. Right now I'm gonna tie a really simple weightless pattern. I'm using a Vivas uh, power thread in like a gray dun color. Uh, I like this thread. I use it for a lot of different stuff. It's just really easy to work with. Uh, you can twist it up and make it ropey or you can let it uh, let it lay nice and flat. So what I've done is I've pre-cut um, some pine squirrel from Wapsi. And you can really make these whatever size you want. Kind of adapt them to the water you're fishing. I like to tie them kind of short though. So I've laid a thread base and I have made the tail about twice the length of the shank and I'm going to tie it into the back right here give it three four nice tight wraps and I'm going to advance my thread forward to about the three-quarter point you can tie these uh, you know several different ways you could just lash them in at two places kind of like a San Juan worm or something like that um, it's really a pretty similar tie. I like to lash it in two places and then I like to do a collar wrap right at the end. So what I'm doing is making my second lash point. I just lick my fingers a little bit to spread the uh, pine squirrel out, get a nice good bite down. Again, three, four good wraps. You don't have to go overkill. We want these to be quick and easy to tie so we can tie lots of them. Then from there, what I like to do is actually take this excess pine squirrel and I like to palmer it and you can kind of just twist it and start palmering it forward making these touch wraps to close enough where they're nice and tight but also not to overlap I don't want to overlap the uh, hide at all so about two and a half wraps I'm there right at the front I lick my fingers separates everything I'll do kind of one loose wrap make sure it's right where I want it another tight wrap Another tight wrap. Wrap in front of it a couple times. That kind of locks that material in there. I'm going to cut it nice and close. And just clean this up a little bit. Put a thread dam over the top of this hide. And that's the pine squirrel leech. All right. Just going to do a little whip finish here. You could use uh, UTC 70 thread, you could use 6 aught uni thread. Um, if you had a little finer touch, you could use 8 aught uni. Uh, I like to really, anything that's got this leather hide, I like to use something a little more strong, um, something, you know, 6 aught uh, or uh, UTC 70. Um, and from there, I'm just going to do a little bit of glue on this. I'll use my uh, bodkin to apply the glue trick I learned from GFG. And that helps me really control where I put it. I don't want to put too much uh, glue on this and make a huge ugly head. And that's it. I wipe the excess glue off on my trim bag. And that is the natural pine squirrel leech right there. Super effective, simple pattern. Um, something you can fish deep shallow again wherever you want you can tie these in purple olive black brown red white uh, possibilities are endless so thanks for watching um, please leave us a comment down below hit the notification bell so you know immediately when we posted a video leave a comment what you want to see what the next pattern you'd like to have done is we're going to continue doing saltwater patterns this spring uh, so we've got a few of those coming out and a few other signature patterns from umqua coming soon Thanks for watching.